Hi everyone, I want to give a quick rundown of some custom dashboard features. So um, there are a lot of things that can be done with this. You can see that I already have a custom dashboard created here. I'm going to create a new one. And we are going to, I'm just going to add a dashboard here, and we're going to come up with a situation. Let's say that we need to create a report for all the completed work orders. And we want to know everything from the previous month. So to start one of these widgets, I'm just going to select here, and I'm going to hit Tasks. And then I'm going to think about, OK, so it's work order, so I want to do everything that was planned work, or planned work order and unplanned work order and work requests. And then it's going to be completed, because this is from the previous month. And speaking of, we are going to choose the previous month on the time period. And then we're going to create a couple different widgets here. We'll create one that will be a tile, a tile, and it will complete the total number of tasks. And I think that we are set for this. We'll just do all the locations. So let's see, we'll do number of work orders. Last month. Okay. So now we have our first widget there, number of work orders last month. And I'm going to copy this and we're just going to change one thing on this. So we did the number of work orders. Let's do another one. Let's do, instead of just showing number of tasks, we can do total time spent or maybe total cost. So we can do total labor cost, total parts cost, whatever we need to do. I'm just going to do total time spent for now and hit save. So you can see it gives us even more information there. Now, I want to create another one, which is a total list. So we're going to do the same thing here. Actually, let's, let's just copy one of these. It'll have a lot of the same information. So I'm going to copy this one, select yes. And now let's go to edit this thing. Before I do, I'm going to move it down so it's, we can build it out correctly. Okay, so now I'm going to edit this. And now instead of a tile view, I want to do a list view. So we're going to have a list of all the activities. Now, there's a lot of different information I can display here, but in this case, I only want to show um, who was completed by the completed date and then the date that the work order was created. Um, we could have lots of different things here. We could have labor costs, parts costs. I'm just going to do the task ID for this example. And as far as displaying rows at a time, I'm going to hit 50. So that means that it'll only show up to 50 items before you have to go to the next page. You can put any number you want in here, but 50 should be enough for my facility. And then I'm not going to filter it down by a specific location or person or anything, but that's totally possible. You could even filter it down to a specific group of assets. So when I go in here to just show you how that would work, you could pick a tag for those assets or anything like that. But we're going to do everything. And instead of calling this number of work orders, I'm going to call it list of work orders last month. Hit save. You can tell it's really small to begin with because we need to just make it larger now. And I'm just going to keep making this thing larger and larger. Okay, so now we have all of my items for last month. They're all here. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to edit. This is no longer number. This is hours spent on work order. So. Maybe we should make that hours of labor, just to be specific. OK. So now we have our custom dashboard here. Now there's a couple things that we can do with this. Now, if we want to share this with somebody in the company that already has a Limbo account, we can actually do this. We hit 
share this dashboard. Maybe we have some view only people, maybe they're an admin or someone in the finance department and they want to get this report every month. Well, if that's the case, we can just share this report with them and then we never have to make the report again. We never have to email them or share it. They just are always going to have access to it. So that can save a lot of time for a manager or someone else who needs to do reporting. Um, another way to do it though, if you do want to do it, I guess you could say the old fashioned way and print it out and email it to them. That's also possible. So I'm just going to select this print button here and it's going to um, create a printable version of this report. So that just finished downloading and I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So here you have you know, the number of work orders, the hours, and then the entire list that shows up. So that is a quick rundown of some different options for the custom dashboards. Custom dashboards are super powerful. They can save a lot of time. And one thing, like I mentioned before, is once you've made this report once, you never have to do it again. So this shows last month, which was October in this case. And that means that on the 1st of December, this report will automatically be generated for November.